Did you cut your hair? Yeah. Last week you didn't have, you had a little more. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Thanks. Growing. <laughs> Balcony or? Uh, yes, a little bit. Sounds good. Would be nice. Okay. The coffee? Oh, yes, for sure. With sugar without? With sugar? For me without, thanks. With a lot of sugar. A lot of sugar? Yeah. One with, one without. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. And here we go. from Istanbul. Today I'm with Anuljan. He came from Germany all the way down to Turkey and we are actually friends since 18, I think 18 years. Yeah, so actually he flew to Turkey to show me Istanbul and we are at a rooftop place from the Grand Bazaar right over here, which is one of the oldest and one of the largest in the world. From the 1481s, built by Sultan Fatih Mehmet. Perfect. And our coffee is ready. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Sugar, sugar no sugar. Come on. Sugar, no sugar. Sherefe. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Ach krass. Echt Leder, ne? Ja, echt Leder. Die ist auch alles. Oh, oh, 
Schlagmaske. Boah, oh, Junge. wow. <lacht> Ey, das ist ja echt Curry, ja, ne? Ich <lacht> Corona-Zeit, ich laufe damit rum. Mach mal. Ich äh, will jetzt nicht. Ich hab schon zwei verkauft davon. Ehrlich? Also, <lacht> man hat ja dann hier vorne so äh, Kräuter und alles voll gemacht, ne? Genau. Dass es dann so sozusagen filtern mhm. soll. Genau. Cool. <lacht> alles klar. Ja, nicht schlecht. Braucht Gut man ja heutzutage. Pestmaske. Extrem cooler Laden. Also. Ja, mega. Erdin Abe. Fische Köller. Gerne geschehen. Hätte Tschüss. Erdin ist da, so before I'm going to tell you where I found this hidden gem where I just had a coffee and the spectacular view I'm gonna tell you a little bit uh, more about Istanbul so Istanbul was ruled by many empires the Greek call it Byzantium the Romans called it Constantinople and now it's Istanbul a metropolis with a population of over 15 million and it actually lies on two continents, on Europe and Asia. And it's a hub for spices and silk and gold, all kinds of metals. Right behind me is the Egyptian bazaar, where you can find, uh, in my opinion, the best Turkish delight and spices from around the world. But make sure to bargain, because people expect that from you. Otherwise, you are going to lose a lot of money and uh, probably your respect as well. Good morning. Good morning, Meraba. Good, how are you? I'm good. From where you came from? Uh, Polonia, nice Poland. To nice to meet you. Where are you from? Done. Syria. Syria, in Arabic. Yeah, I'm in Arabic. 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 i am and the district of the uh, Grand Bazaar. Bring ich dir bei, wie man spielt. Ja, da ist auch Japanisch. Ach so, ja. Meraba. Ni Hongo ga hana se masu ka? I don't speak, but my shop in Hongo. No, ni Hongjin na no. Ah, so desu ka. Okay, for now I'm going to explore the area by myself. My friend Anuljan is going to the Friday prayer, which I'm gonna join later. Um, I think it's the best uh, time for me to explore the Grand Bazaar. Usually it's overcrowded. Most of the people are going to the mosque right now. I'm gonna check out the area with you. I'm gonna see you later at Hagia Sophia. In my opinion, the best place to explore Istanbul and the remainings of ancient times is Sultan Ahmed. It's right between Kapalı Çarşı, which is the Grand Bazaar, and uh, the Beyoğlu Galata district. And it's a must to see. Here you'll find probably the most iconic structure, not only in Istanbul, but in Turkey. It's the Hagia Sophia Mosque, which used to be a Greek Orthodox church built in the 500s. 
and is the oldest and fastest constructed cathedral in the world and uh, right in front of the Hagia Sophia is the Blue Mosque built in the beginning of the 16th century which they claim is the most beautiful mosque in Turkey So the Friday prayer should end soon and I'm going to meet Analjan again and we're going to uh, traditional Turkish bath, the hammam, which is also called the spreader of warmth in English. And I met a couple days ago Mr. Kaptan, Captain in Turkish. He's going to explain how we bath the traditional Turkish way. <laughs> Kaptan abi. Günaydın. Günaydın Patrick. Ne haber? Anılcan. Nasılsın? Türk. 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 Hamam Türk kültürünün bir parçası. Eskiden beri gelmekte. Onlar kahveye gidiyor, oturuyor. Evet. Aynı mantıkla adamlar hamama gidiyorlar. Hamamda hem kesesini temizliğini yapıyor, hem sohbetini ediyorlar. Bu halk insanı için de öyleydi, en tepedeki bürokrat için de böyleydi. Hepsi oraya girince aynı oluyor yani. Aynen Ardasla... öyle. Hani birçok resimde görürsün ya böyle oturmuşlar göbek taşına, böyle bir tepsi, üzümler, kavunlar, evet, karpuzlar. Evet. Hem sohbetini yapar, hem orada atıştırmalığını, kahvesinin çayını içer falan. Her şey orada gerçekleşirdi yani o bir buluşma alanıydı. Evet. Ama zaman içinde evrildi, Hı -hı. evrilerek bugün geldiği nokta turistik bir kaynak. E haliyle bize sadece turist gelmiyor. Yerli de yani burada çok fazla dükkan olduğu için esnaf da yorgunluğunu atmak için, soluklanmak, nefeslenmek için geliyor. Güzel. Ama turistteki en merak noktası masaj değil hamam. Hamamı böyle böyle bir e, tanımak, Tabii. yaşamak değil mi? Ya en çok söylenen şey şu, ben de onu çok mantıklı buluyorum. En son beni 7 yaşımda annem yıkamıştı diyor. <gülüyor> So if you want to check out his uh, coffee place, which I can tell is worth checking out, make sure to write him on Instagram. I'm going to put his account uh, down below in the description. And uh, that's it for today from Istanbul. I hope you liked it and hopefully you're going to watch my next vlog again, which will be more of Turkey and not only Istanbul. And uh, thank you for watching from the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul.